If you're tired of the same boring, bland graphics in vanilla Minecraft, then look no further, because in this video we will be showcasing the top 10 best shaders that will take your Minecraft experience to the next level. From stunning water effects to realistic lighting, these shaders will completely transform the way that you see the game. So sit back, relax, and be ready to be amazed as we count down the best shaders of this year. Let's get started. Number 10, Makeup Shaders. The Makeup Shaders mod provides players with a high quality experience with optimal performance, offering a wide range of optional features like shadows, chromatic aberration, motion blur, reflexes and more, letting you have your own ability to choose from its variety of colour schemes to make your game more personal to you, recommending you to use the original default settings on Optifine for maximum shader quality, and then further customise the individual settings through the pack itself to further tailor it to your specific needs. This is a good recommendation in my opinion to players who can't run those highest quality of shaders, but still want an improvement over vanilla. Number 9, Trilliton's Shaders. This game-changing pack is a powerful shader with a plethora of visual effects to take the game to new heights. From better clouds and rain, to motion blur and depth of field, there's a wealth of visually stunning features. One of the most striking features here is the improved lighting system, which will amaze you regardless of if you're exploring during the day or night, as there's a heightened level of detail that it brings to the table. The sunrise and sunset effect are of course particularly breathtaking too, adding warm hues of orange for a lively feel. The highlight of improved water visuals also means that exploring the depths of the ocean is more impressive, with the caustics and shadows that you'll notice when doing so. The coloured glass feature is also particularly pleasant too. From its cell shading to its lens flares and the better moon and stars, there's something that everyone can appreciate with this shader pack. Number 8, Rudo Plays Shaders. The Rudo Plays Shader is a newer addition in terms of date, but is still equally incredible to many of the other offerings on this list, letting you enjoy the best of both worlds, which allows for stunning and realistic graphics and fast paced speed on the slower or higher end rigs, it really doesn't matter. The water shaders are particularly great with the shader pack making you feel like you're swimming in the real ocean with its realistic waves and breathtaking reflections, with great sunflower effects that are truly spectacular. I would recommend this one if your computer isn't particularly fast, as those with older cards can still achieve an average rate of let's just say 60 FPS when playing with its high FPS capabilities, because playing with no lag and smoother frame rates makes for a more enjoyable experience. Number 7, Silda's Vibrant Shaders. Silders uses extremely bright effects and it will put a real shine on your game, hence the name. This pack entirely revamps the game in an exceptional and revolutionary way, transforming how the lighting system is received in Minecraft by utilising advanced effects, like ambient seclusion, improving the game's immersive feeling. This pack manages to achieve an impressive feat of maintaining the high performance of running the game and compatibility across many systems, all whilst looking very impressive. The original pack comes in a series of various presets, basically letting you choose which preset works best for you. Of course you might want to choose medium or high quality based on your graphics card, which lets players with lower end PCs be able to enjoy the game with a new look, something that they can't always appreciate with a top tier of shaders which have high demand. This one is also easy to install, so this shader is particularly a game changer with its very advanced effects, which is affordable for most people to use. Number 6, Continuum Shaders. Now we're going to be covering Continuum 2.1 mainly here, although I will also be demonstrating the old shader in the footage too. Continuum 2.1 is a powerful and highly configurable shader pack that comes equipped with a physical base camera system. This lets players simulate a raw camera all within the game, packaged with toning settings of the likes of a real camera, like camera aperture, ISO, shutter speed and exposure details, which lets you line up the perfect screenshot as you would with a camera when doing real world photography but within Minecraft's engine's constraints. There's a highly intuitive and configurable colour grading system which will let you make the shader tailored slightly more to your own wants, with options which allow you to adjust the toe, slope and shoulder of the shader's tone map, as well as white balance, contrast, vibrance and saturation, and gain. This all makes it very convenient to make slight adjustments, such as letting you upload custom LUTs into the shader to offer you anything you would particularly need. This shader though is currently in early access release, although it has so many interesting features which are quite groundbreaking, which of course makes this one exciting. 
The original Continuum shader though is highly available for anyone to use and it's also a very powerful shader with very satisfying graphics. Number 5 Arc Shaders The Arc Shaders pack is a fantastic pack that balances performance and realism, which works seamlessly with both Optifine and also Iris, which is quite important as it lets both Fabric and Forge players use it without any issues. This pack has a great level of performance and it brings some pleasant visual aesthetics to the game with this impressive feature set, aiming to provide realistic level images with a minimal loss of performance, letting you enjoy a visually stunning game with HDR lighting and volumetric lighting, manual and automatic exposures, water waves and refraction, as well as support for basic, distorted and cascaded shadow mapping and bloom. There's also a depth of field effect that can be added to improve upon the believability of the game's appearance. On the higher settings, there may be a damper upon frame rate, although that's expected with the majority of high-end shaders nowadays. Number 4, CUDA Shaders. CUDA Shaders is a popular and well-regarded addition, known basically for its compatibility and its lack of bugs, which adds features like volumetric fog, high-quality default textures, and special effects like dynamic weather and realistic clouds. There's a good balance of features without any of those unwanted elements, although it does have its drawbacks, one example being the bloom effect that can pop up in the most unexpected of places, and also its higher requirements, which makes it harder for players with integrated graphics graphics to actually run it. With the waving plants that sway in the wind and the dynamic weather, there's also the element of Anaglyph 3D, which lets players access the game in a three-dimensional style by using those classic red cyan 3D glasses. It reminds me of watching Shrek 2 on DVD in 3D back in the day, when they used to sell DVDs with those 3D glasses. Number 3, Chocopic 13 Shaders. Chocopic 13 Shaders is perhaps single-handedly the most popular shader pack, contrary to popular belief because most people are going to be talking about Sonic Ethers. This is of course because it has been used as the base to develop many different shader packs, using it as an example. Most of the shader packs that you know of and you're familiar with were probably built on Chocopic. This one boasts volumetric lighting that simulates the scattering of light upon the atmosphere, adding depth to the in-game skies. It also adds realistic god rays which simulates sunlight shining beyond the clouds, making the landscape backdrop look more immersive. The water reflections reflect the game's world onto the water surface, which also adds a sense of realism to the bodies of water. Number 2 BSL Shaders BSL Shaders is a pack that quickly gained popularity amongst the player base, mostly known for its more vibrant colour palette and its realistic shadows, offering a wealth of customization options to tailor its preference. The benefit though of BSL is the fact that you get a nice level of detail in relation to the high performance. Using brighter colours, the enhancements to the lighting and shadows improves the lifelike feeling during play, especially with the realistic waves on the water and the better clouds in the sky. Now most players will be attracted to BSL because of it being non-demanding on your system, which means that you won't need to sacrifice any kind of performance for visual fidelity. Number two Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. Taking spot number one on this list is of course Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, which is a popular pack that's been around for a very long time at this point, mostly known for its high quality graphics and ultra realistic lighting effects, compatible with most modern graphics cards and usually the subject of integration for most adventurous mods, like the physics mod. One of the most respected packs in the community, there's a wide range of features to enhance Minecraft's graphics, such as realistic reflections, water effects and volumetric lighting. The realistic lighting and reflections in this pack adds a whole new layer of immersion and realism. Of course now the main cons of this particular shader though are its performance requirements, meaning those with lower end hardware may struggle to run it as it's actually quite demanding to use. This is one of those shader packs which brings the so called RTX graphics. More specifically it uses a technology called path tracing which is very similar to RTX. Although even on an RTX 3090 I struggle to run this with a smooth frame rate at the very maximum settings you can set it to, which just kind of gives you retrospect on how much power you actually need to run the shader pack at its highest settings. So that's going to conclude the top 10 best Minecraft shaders of 2023. I hope you found the best shader which was based on your personal preference and also the power of your system. I recommend you to try out a few of the different options that you see here and find out which one works for you best and which one you like the most because of course all of them have a visual style that's different to the other so you need to base it on the balance between performance and visual look. Let me know which of these 10 shaders is your favourite or if there's a better one that I didn't cover in the video by leaving a comment below and also don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.